Okay, today I'm going to show you how to get that retro comic feel on an image, and it's pretty easy to do. You, I'm, you've surely seen the filter used before on images like this, and images like this. This is a pretty good one, and it's generally characterized by uh, the dots, the dots on the image to make it look like an old comic strip. So what I've done is I've grabbed an image off of one of my stock image sites to use in a little comic strip I'm making. So I found a woman punching that's pretty comic-y and opened it in GIMP. And all you need to do is go to filters. Under distorts, there's one called newsprint. Okay, and under newsprint, there's only a few things you really need to pay attention to. Um, there's the oversample, which is how the dots lay onto each other. This really isn't very important. Um, I'd leave it at three or four, play around with it, and find what looks best. Um, another thing is the down here we have the spot function. Okay, there's line. You see how it kind of adds lines to them. Uh, it doesn't look really good in my opinion. Um, there's diamond, which can look good depending on what you're doing, but mainly I stick to round. Um, there are plenty of functions around here, you know, play with them all, drag, drop, find out what you think looks best for what you're doing. But the most important thing on here is cell size. And where the cell size matters is on how big your image is. So this is a very large image I'm working with. It is probably at least 5,000 pixels uh, wide. So I need the cell size to be pretty big. If you're working on smaller images, don't make that mistake. You probably want your cell size to be somewhere between three and six. Um, but this one is very large, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this all up to 25, and let's run the filter and see how it looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. From a distance, not much zoom in and you can definitely see that newsprint comic style so that's that's good that's exactly what we want okay i'm going to get all of that didn't really need to do that okay go to edit i'm going to copy it go over to my other gimp file i have open i don't know what that is Delete that. okay let's paste it on and the image is huge, so I'm going to scale it real quick because my comic is not very big. When working in GIMP, holding control and using the scroll wheel on your mouse is your best friend. I stand by it. Okay, so that's probably pretty good. If it'll fit and frame well. Go ahead and scale it. We'll just take a second. And even see, the cell size is a little bit small for how big this image is. I probably should have made it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to anchor this pasted uh, image into that layer. Move it around a little bit. I uh, should probably do that in a second. Okay, this layer, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to move it below the comic strip so it fits. Move it over a little bit still to where it fits. Got her punching with a pow. And it looks like an old comic strip. And that's really all there is to it. Just play around with it for your own needs. And it should look pretty good. And that's, that's really all there is to it. Just filter, distort, and newsprint. 